Yes, good afternoon everybody. I too would like to congratulate everyone who's turned out on this blistery uh, day today to, to make our stand against the budget and to make our stand against this government. We're meeting at a time where not a single week goes by, in fact really not a single day goes by, where the government does not come out with a new outrage. And this week we've seen one of the latest outrages is Tony Abbott was trying to say Australia was unsettled. Tony Abbott wants to bring us back to Terra Nullius. That is what this government stands for. And I would like to add my voice to those who say this always was, always will be Aboriginal land. You get a sense of what this government stands for, what they believe in, when you remember they want to bring back knights and dames. When you remember Senator Brandis wants to encourage people to be a bigot, but if a public servant has got a nasty word to say about Tony Abbott, they need to be censored for it. This is the kind of double standards and the shameful policies of this government that we're standing to fight against. And then, and in particular, this budget. This budget is a horror budget. Many budgets get called, called horror budgets, but this is the worst budget we've seen in my lifetime. This is the worst budget we've seen in living memory. This is a naked attack on ordinary people. This is an attack across the board on the community. And it's in the interest of the big end of town. That's what we see. And you know, if ever there was a case, if ever any budget, there was a case to block it outright, this was it. And I think it's important today that we congratulate and acknowledge the fact that Andrew Wilkie, the independent member in, um, in Denison in Tasmania, he actually outlined a progressive case for why the whole budget should be blocked, including the supply bills. And he put him his money where his mouth is, and he voted in Parliament against those supply bills, and congratulations to Andrew Wilkie for that. I think it's a pity that Labor and the Greens did vote in favour of the supply bills a couple of weeks ago in the, in the Senate. We would be in a stronger position today if those supply bills had been defeated. But nevertheless, the fight is not over. It's actually, there's, it's still, we still have a long way to go in front of us, but this budget can be defeated and we're here to say we're gonna resist it every step of the way. There are two main ways that we can go from here, two main avenues we can to defeat this budget. Firstly, there are a number of measures that will have to go, that will need extra legislation as well as the supply bills. Those measures will come, out, come up in the Senate and we need to actually build as strong a community campaign as possible to force the opposition senators to maintain their backbone and actually vote against all every single one of those budget measures. Yeah. But equally, if not more importantly, the other means that we have got to fight this budget, the means that makes the most difference to you and me, the means that makes the most difference to ordinary people, is people power in the streets. And I say by people power, we can defeat this budget. Yeah. And the reason is, this is a budget of lies. Everything about this budget is a lie. We've got the government claiming that there's a budget emergency, but trying to pretend there's no climate emergency. They got that back to front. We've got a government that says there's plenty of money for denying refugees human rights by locking them up in detention centres offshore, but there's no money for Aboriginal health care. We've got a government that wants to cut, cut every single climate program, program it can possibly manage, but has not said anything about the $10 billion plus that is handed out as free money, corporate welfare, uh, subsidies to, to big corporations to polluting industries that are responsible for climate pollution. So the government wants to cut the climate programs and hand out free money to the big corporations that are causing the damage. Yeah. Yeah. And the most important lie that Tony Abbott is telling in order to sell this budget, the most important lie that he's telling is that there is no alternative. Yeah. And that is a lie. There is an alternative, there is an alternative, and the alternative is to get the money from the people that have got it. Yeah. Don't take money off pensioners, don't take money off students, don't sack public servants, don't charge people for going to the doctor, don't charge ordinary people. We want to get the money from Gina Reinhardt. We want to get the money from Twiggy Forrest. We want to get the money from Clive Palmer. Yeah. 
We actually want to have a democracy where people can actually vote for themselves and choose for themselves the decisions we're going to make, not where people can buy their way into parliament. We want to, we want to see a genuine democracy. And I'm going to finish up on this point. The biggest lie they're trying to tell is that there is an alternative. We know that there is an alternative. And we, I, what I want to put, into, put out there today is that we're going to go away from this demonstration today with the, with the conviction in our hearts, with the conviction in our hearts that we can fight this budget, we can resist it. And everything we're going to do in our trade unions, in our community organisations, in, in our political parties, if we're members of political parties, in our, and I would like to make a special plug for joining the March Australia group. We meet every Thursday in the Unions, uh, unions WA building. We're going to be organising another rally in the end of August. And I'd like to encourage every single one of us here today to come out again and hopefully the, the weather's going to be a bit better and we're going to bring out all our friends, all our, you know, everyone that we can possibly manage to come out because this is, there's a long way to go and we need, we're going to walk away from this rally today with the conviction in our hearts there is an alternative, we don't have to put up with this bullshit and if we fight for it, we can win. If we fight for it, we can get the budget we deserve. If we fight for it, we will win. Yeah.